I've got a new dirt bag to talk about. This one's going to have a little bit of a twist to it, and uh, I would like to know your guys' opinions about it. So if you do not mind, please like the video so other people can see it, and um, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Before I start, I would like to take one moment to thank everybody who is new. Thank you so very much for um, subscribing. I definitely appreciate your support. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, Greg Stephen, former Iowa youth coach, was arrested on 3-13-2018. Greg Stephen is out of Monticello, Iowa. He actually confessed to secretly recording young boys abusing boys, and then he was also involved in child pornography. That included more than 400 boys over his 13-year uh, career. He was originally facing 5 to 20 years in prison with a $250,000 fine and at least 5 years supervised release. This should never be an option when this guy has over 400 victims already. Now what Greg did was um, he actually pleaded guilty to 5 counts of sexual exploitation of a child and to possessing and transporting child pornography. I would like to be clear about one thing. He did make this stuff. Um, he actually set the cameras up. He would put them in public places. He would put them in showers. He would put them in bathrooms. He was putting them in the hotel rooms when they would go on trips, uh, basketball trips and stuff like that. He would masturbate in the bed next to the boys. He would make the boys lay in the bed with them. He would disrobe them. He would do, he was doing a ton of stuff and for a very long time 13 years is a long time to have and, and to have this many I think they said up somewhere around 460 um, victims is is outrageous this person should never see the light of day again the judge is actually trying to stop him from being able to get out at the end of last year, the judge actually sentenced him to 180 years. Now, the reason the judge sentenced him to 180 years is to ensure that, the, that this person cannot ever get back out and hurt another child. This person actually had access to boys and girls as young as fourth grade, y'all. Fourth grade. That's what? Nine years old? I was 10 and turned 11 in fifth grade. So, yeah. Now, um, during... After he had read the sentence down, Judge C.J. Williams is quoted saying in court, this is a horrendous offense. He exploited, manipulated, and abused children for nearly two decades. This is a judge that is actually trying to keep this, this guy away from hurting anybody else, which is, which is what we're asking for if we're not going to put these people down. I mean, look. I cannot tell people what to think. I would never tell people what they can and cannot think and keep inside of their head. But the moment you you violate another human being in those ways, a child, you should never have the chance to ever be around another child again. Because what has happened in plenty of of cases that I have seen more so than not there are multiple victims per offender you know people will argue this um, oh no that's that's really rare it is not rare I have done the research it is there I have been through it okay it's not just experience for me though it, it is research you could talk to people and find out that these people have a long history of doing this stuff. And so this judge, here is the first time they're finding out about this guy. After all those victims, 460 something, and probably more. Here is a, a person, a judge, trying to stop anybody else from being hurt. So his legal team will more than likely appeal and claim that it was a violation of his privacy rights for them to obtain the device with all the child sex abuse on it. But I need to be clear about something right now. The police 
did not find it at first. It was his brother-in-law, but his brother-in-law basically, he found the stuff and he actually handed it over. Now, I could understand if people were like, oh, well, he could have set him up. He could have set him up if Greg Stephen did not actually admit that the stuff was his. And now they're going to appeal possibly on a violation of his privacy. Okay? There is no privacy when you're abusing people, when you're abusing children. <laughs> the hell are you talking about, dude? Like, are you kidding? I also, I will not be surprised to find out that they are going to try to appeal on an excessively long prison sentence. I'd like to be clear here, though. The judge did the right thing. He sentenced him to 180 years to ensure that that son of a bitch stays far, far away from children, from any other child out there. This is kind of rare because I am more and more and more, I'm, I'm finding out, uh, oh my gosh, just all these people being released or not even being put in prison. It's, it's insane. I don't understand what the hell is going on. But I wanted to talk about this case today because I don't know how this is actually going to end up playing out. But I don't think that he's going to end up being in prison that long. Uh, I really don't. I'm hoping that he will. Uh, he was sentenced to 180 years. They don't have to approve his appeal. Um, I mean, they don't have to. So we will see where this goes. But I thought that the, this was a very good example of what judges should be doing. Um, see, people tell me all the time, these people should not serve lengthy prison sentences. Yes, they should. They should never be allowed out, ever. Because when you allow them out, as you can tell by my, by my videos, my other videos, they will keep reoffending. They will keep doing it. That is literally the best thing the judge could have done other than execute him. He actually confessed to all this stuff, okay? He confessed to it. So that's today's video. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, please, so that other people can see it. I do appreciate everybody's support, and thank you so much. Have a nice night.